But people who escape the storm surge and take refuge in one of New York's many high-rise buildings will unwittingly face another danger from the hurricane's incredible winds. If you're in a high-rise building during a hurricane, um, you want to get off the ground floors in case there's the storm surge, of course. But um, if you're in the higher levels, you also have the danger of the, the glass failure. Just how vulnerable Manhattan's high-rise buildings are to hurricane force winds was highlighted recently by a team of structural engineers from the University of Western Ontario. They're investigating the impact of extreme wind on building structures, and in particular, on glass. This is the reenactment of what a hurricane will do to a window. When the wind moves over the surface of a building, it creates pressures. And what we've done in this box here is recreated pressures that we've measured in the wind tunnel and we scaled up to full scale hurricane conditions. And this device replicates that. And what it is, there's a high powered fan here. And rather than using the fan to, uh, to blow wind, we're actually using the fan more like a vacuum cleaner just to suck on the pieces of glass and the different surfaces of, of the building. And in this way, we replicate the effects of the wind very, very accurately. What we're going to do is look at many different films that we can put on glass to make it stronger or more resilient under the wind loads to make homes safer for people. And so all of our research is working towards that goal. Filmed on high-speed camera, it's possible to study in minute detail the forces exerted on glass by the hurricane's winds and measure the complex stresses and strains that finally cause the glass to blow. Two things can happen in a hurricane. On, on a windward facing wall, the, the winds are pushing, gonna push the glass in. You can have the glass entering, entering into the living space, which isn't a good thing. On other parts of the building, actually, the wind wants to pull the glass outwards. And a lot of things can go with it, and so you again don't want to sit near, near windows. This push and pull effect is most likely to occur in buildings like skyscrapers that have glass windows on all sides. There are hundreds of these skyscrapers in Manhattan, each covered with thousands of windows. I'm not sure anyone can predict what's gonna happen if a major hurricane hit a city like New York, but I wouldn't wanna be on street level at all, and I certainly wouldn't wanna be in the high rise area because of all the glass coming down. That would be extremely dangerous. The other problem, if you lose windows, what happens is the wind rushes into the building and it causes the building almost to blow up like a balloon. So you get a greater deal of damage just to that internal pressurization, we call it. 